الله تعالى. But the Sheikh used to always mention Ikhwan, the virtue of the people of Yemen. He used to constantly mention the virtue of the people of Yemen, and there's no doubt, Ikhwan, in, in living there and spending time amongst the Yemenis, Ikhwan, you see the tremendous humility and softness of heart that the Messenger of Allah was mentioning in the narration collected by Al-Bukhari and Muslim عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أتاكم أهل اليمن هم أرقوا أفئدة وألي قلوبا الإيمان يمان والحكمة يمانية He mentions Ikhwan in the narration in the meaning the people of Yemen have come to you they have the softest hearts Faith is Yemeni, and wisdom is Yemeni. And that particular wording, Ikhwan, is specifically collected by Imam al-Bukhari as for the riwayah of Imam Muslim. جَاءَ أَهْلُ الْيَمِنْ هُمْ أَرَقُوا أَثْئِدَةِ الْإِيمَانِ يَمَانٍ وَالْفِقْءِ يَمَانٍ وَالْحِكْمَةِ يَمَانِيَةِ And in this wording, Ikhwan, there is the additional wording of والفِقْ well, the fiqh, any proper understanding of the religion, is Yemeni. Imam al-Bukhari, Ikhwan, he said regarding this question, does anybody know where yani, the name Yemen came from? Why it was named Yemen? According to yani, some of the historians, as we'll quote from Imam al-Bukhari here. Anyone familiar with this, Ikhwan? Tayyip. Imam al-Bukhari, he said, Rahimahullah, Sumiyat al-Yemen, لأنها عن يمين الكعبة. It is said it was called Yemen because it is in the right direction, to the right side of the Kaaba. هكذا يقول الإمام البخاري mentions and there are other wordings, other statements, but I wanted to mention that I thought it was a benefit. الله يبارك فيكم. Regarding this narration, Ibn Hajar he quotes from Ibn Salah بأنه لا مانع من إجراء الكلام على ظاهره. That there is no objection in taking this narration at face value. Because there is ikhtilaf amongst the scholars of exactly what is intended here by the people of Yemen. But he says, Ibn Salah says, that there is no objection to taking this narration at face value. And then he says, after this, Ikhwan, He says, Ikhwan, that what is intended in the narration is the virtue of the people of Yemen over others from the East. Tremendous Ikhwan. And what's the reason for this? The reason for that Ikhwan he mentions is their willful submission to matters of faith. And to the Islam Ikhwan easily. Didn't fuss, didn't fight came easily and therefore because of this as some of the ulama have mentioned <coughs> the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this tremendous narration bi khilafi ahl al-mashriq wa ghayrihim as opposed to the people of the east others from the east Allah yabarak fikum qala nawi rahimahullah al hikma ibara an al ilm that here in the narration, what is intended by hikmah is knowledge. Is knowledge of the affairs of the rulings of al-Islam. Al-mushtamil ala al-ma'rifah billah tabarak wa ta'ala. That comprises knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The affair of al-tawheed. The affair of al-tawheed. Allah ibn fikum. The asma wa sifat of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. The rububi of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. The ibad of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Ikhwan having knowledge of the affairs of the tawheed and the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he mentions after this in Nawi. Al-Mashub min al-Fad al-Basira. Also accompanied by discernment. With tahdeeb al-Nafs. Self-rectification. Look at all of this, Ikhwan, from this hikmah. With tahqiq al-Haq. Wal-Amal bihi. The affirmation and implementation of the truth. وَصَدُّ عَنْ إِتِّبَاعِ الْهَوَى وَالْبَاطِلِ And rejecting, following, desires, and falsehood. This, this, Ikhwan, 
as we talk about the Messenger of Allah وسلم, having those concise yet comprehensive words. He says, Hikmah, and look at all that we extract from that one word. Look what the ulama ikhwan are able to extract from a single word in the narration. Allah be and this is what is intended by those concise yet comprehensive words of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Entire volumes have been written about a single narration, the Hadith of Jibril, for example. Allah be So therefore, ikhwan, this is what is intended by Hikmah. وقال أبو بكر بن دريد كل كلمة وعذتك وزجرتك أو دعتك إلى مكرمة أو نهتك عن قبيح فهي حكمة. And he mentions إخوان الله يبارك فيكم that Abu Bakr ibn Duraid he said that every word that exhorts you gives you a sermon teaches you something that censures you rebukes you that calls you to noble deeds or prohibits you from despicable acts, all of that is included under the meaning of hikmah. Again, a single word, ikhwan, but we extract from that tremendous benefit. Now, again, ikhwan, as I mentioned, there is a difference of opinion regarding the meaning of the narration, but I wanted to mention what our Shaykh al-Allama, Salih al-Fawzan, Hafidhullah ta'ala, says regarding this. He was asked, is this narration specific to the time? Is it restricted to the time of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, or is it applied generally unto the day of resurrection? Shaykh al-Fawzan, he said, This is generally applied unto the day of resurrection. It is generally applied to the Muslims of Yemen. And again, Ikhwan, as Shaykh and as Shaykh Muqbal used to always clarify, this does not mean, Ikhwan, that every single individual who is Yemeni, for example, has that fadl. If a person, for example, is khabif, despicable, wicked, Shi'i, or like this, Ikhwan, then one will not praise him in this fashion. But generally speaking, this is the affair of the people of Yemen, as mentioned in the narration. And that is why, Ikhwan, one of the benefits of Dal Hadith being in Yemen, one cannot overlook that, Ikhwan, the welcoming nature of the people coming from around the world to Yemen and the hospitality that was shown to us. I remember, Ikhwan, we were in the house of Shaykh Una Shaykh Muqbil, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and one of the students from Yemen, from Damaj, he says, because at that, at that time, Ikhwan, the only people who cooked were the Yemenis. So the Yemenis had different days that they had to cook, from Aden, from Yani Sana, from Hadramot. They had their own days to cook. And the Sheikh deemed that the Yani, those who came from outside, the visitors, their brothers from outside of Yemen, that he didn't want them to have to cook because he wanted to show them hospitality from being guests in the country, students and guests in the country. Look at the hospitality. So the sheikh looked at me and he said, Malik, can you cook? And I said, La sheikh, I'm married. <laughs> and Allah, the sheikh, he laughed. He has such a sense of humor, which we'll touch on also. So one cannot overlook, Ikhwan, the virtue of that markaz, that mahad being placed in al-Yemen.